Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This workout today is a combination of bar, so high volume, light weight, and strength, which is going to be heavier weight and lower volume. We're going to do supersets, so one bar, one strength. All right, I'll show a little preview so you can see what's coming up and grab the weights that are appropriate for you. You're going to require that variety of dumbbells in the workout today. I've also got my high incline bench, but you could use the back of a chair or a couch. Sometimes it's nice just to have something to hold on to for balance if you need it. All right, we'll start you with the warm up and we'll end with the cool down. If you like these fusion workouts, the mashups like this, click the card at the top of the screen and that's the playlist. All right, are you ready to do this? Let's move daily. I'm gonna hit bar on my Apple Watch here. If you have an Apple Watch, there is that setting. If not, you can always do hit. That's basically what this is. Some high volume, like I said before. Nice rapid heart rate for sure. And then we'll move into that strength. I do love supersets. Um, just, I just, it feels like it just goes by so fast. It's about like six minutes a circuit. Take it wide. And yeah, really fun. Really fun. And that's what we're going for in life. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. That's what I'm going for. Fun and fast. In and out, get her done. But have fun in the meantime. All right, stay wide here. Let's touch the toes. I'm gonna stay in this wide position and drop it low side to side. You can stay up high and rock side to side if you can't get down this low. I just need to stretch that inner thigh. Nice rocking, heel is up, stretching into your Achilles a little bit into that calf. Some tiptoe work here today, so certainly want to lengthen through that calf muscle and get the Achilles warmed up. All right, stay low here if you can. We're just gonna open up into that inner thigh and groin area, pushing against my knees. Back is tall. You can squat if you can't uh, do this position here. Very good, mm, that feels good. I'm gonna put my hands on my feet. We're gonna stand and squat here. Put the toes facing the front, we've got eight. Walk it out into a plank position. We're gonna do some rotations here. Just reach and stretch. Alternate sides for 10 as well. Big stretch in the chest. There's four. One more each side. All right, stay in that plank position. We're gonna walk the feet toward the hands. Try to keep them on the ground if you can. And we're rounding up through the vertebrae. Roll those shoulders here. That's it. That crunch, crunch for me. Roll the other direction. All right, big circles with your hands. Tap this out. Switch directions. And some front kicks here. Same side, we'll go for 10. We were talking in the membership about stretching. This is a great ballistic exercise to stretch and warm up muscles. Okay, one more there and switch. Little swinging into that full range of motion. Four more. And we'll just do one more here. Side lifts, 
15 each side here. There's 10, five more. And switch sides. Okay, last 15 here up to the side. And then we'll get it started with that first superset. You can take a look right now. They're on the screen, what's coming up. All right, last five here. And here we go, grab your weights and we're doing it. All right, two, three, or five pound weight. You're gonna start holding on here. We're gonna drop to the side, wide open, and bring it right back in front. I'll call half, and then we'll switch sides. Here we go. Take it wide into that plie, and back to center. Shoulders back, back is tall. Switch your side, take it low, together. Very good, setting that down. Moving into my plie, curl, Reverse press, so a reverse grip, I'm gonna hold 12s. Taking it wide, palms are up, curl at the bottom, stand and press. So low, curl, press, watch your face. Low, curl, press. five pound dumbbell for my plie. It's a bit of work on that front shoulder, but not bad. I'll go half, toes go out. Take it low and center. Slight softness in that elbow. Here and switch. And switch. 
switch. Let's finish off with our last CA. Wide stance, knees over the toes, drop it low. Take a look at the screen for the next two exercises. I'm gonna use my 12s for that reverse lunge. Here we're gonna do a short lunge, long lunge. All right. Nice and tall. Here we go, short lunge, long. Short and long. I don't want you to come out of this lunge position. Keep tension on that front glute. I'll call half on the leg. All right, switch sides. Long, short and long. Nice burn on the quad. Woo! Go back to your original leg. For that reverse lunge, Hammer curl this time. I'm gonna stay on the same leg until I call half. Nice little high knee here as well. So take it low, high knee curl, and a low. If you're too imbalanced, tap the ground instead of doing the high knee. Last here, switch your side. Elbows in close here. Round two, back to your short and long lunge. Quick sit for me. All right, back to your original leg. Here we go. Short, long, short. Exercise right closed. Stay tall, don't bend over. Three, two, one, switch legs. Shake that out. Back on the original leg. Reverse hammer. High knee or step and tap. Take it back.
switch your side. both fives. Heels together, overhead press. Just do a regular squat if this hurts your knees. Dumbbells touch. Low and lift. Watch your mouth. Stay as tall as you can here. down. Our strength is going to be that goblet squat pulse. I'm going to use a 20. Taking my time, pulsing at the bottom. Feet shoulder width apart. Drop it here, pulse, drive. Nice and low here if it's available to you in your hip flexibility. My elbows touch my knee. Some of you may not have that. Something to work on. Definitely that Achilles lengthening, calf flexibility. Okay, last here. Round two, back to your heels together squat. Fives. <clears throat> Rapid fire. Again, if this hurts your knees, straighten your feet. That's fine. Don't want to injure yourself. I've got pretty good knees, so this is available to me.
Back to your goblet pulse. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sticking with the 20, pulsing at the bottom. Shoulders back. I don't know about you, but heart rate has not had a chance to really come down, has it? It's pumping. One more round. After this round, I will give a 30 second break. So if you need to bring your heart rate down or grab water, you can always pause the video for a longer rest. Ready, let's work. your goblet for the last one. If you don't need the break, keep this going until I come back on the screen. Feet shoulder width and pulse. Keep it tight, almost there. Shoulders back, drive hard. Let's go. There it is. All right, water break if you need. If you don't, keep that squat going. Here's the next two exercises for you. We're moving into a plie lateral raise, plie front raise. All right, we're gonna hold fives. Take it into that plie, shoulders back, nice and tall, alternating those arms. Drop it low and plie, lateral, plie, front, good. Low and lateral, low and front. It's gonna be whatever you can lateral raise as that's the most challenging of these two. shoulder width, feet face the front. We're gonna squat first, Arnold at the top. Here we go. Drop it low, Arnold press here, and low. Core engaged as you drop into that low position. Okay, 
and hard. Last here. Back to the plie, lateral front. Let's move this up. Out of my way. Toes are out now. Shoulders back. Low and lateral. Low and front. I was gonna sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, this is an odd time for a sneeze, but what do you do? Again, that really kicked my heart rate up though. Wider stance, drop it low. There it is. Challenging 12 to really kick it up. Round three. on these ones because the weight is lighter, volume can be higher. That's how we'll get to fatigue. It's not going to be the resistance. It's going to be the cadence. All right. Volume. And last one with the Arnold. Nice and tall. Here are your next two exercises. Grabbing those fives again for my tricep kickback leg lift. So you're here, we're gonna kick and lift. I'll call halfway on the leg and then we'll switch. Hinge at the waist, shoulders back, back is flat. And you kick and lift, kick and lift. Little glute. Little triceps here. Even that stationary leg is getting a nice activation, isn't it? In three, two, and one. Switch your leg and lift.
Those fives are adding up, I tell ya. Stationary or static lunge with your overhead tricep extension. I'll go halfway on the legs. Everything is up, everything is down. Pelvic tilt, drop it low. And press right here and low. legs. Here we go. Everything is down and up. flex. Have a good hold on that dumbbell. You can also hold it lengthwise if you'd like. A bit more stability in the grip there. Last one here. Switch legs. Doing great, 
everyone. Here's a look at the next two exercises. Grabbing those fives again. I'm gonna do a little curtsy lunge with a bicep serve of sorts. So you're gonna come down and press out, turning your palm to face the ground. I'll call half on the leg. So drop it, curtsy, and out. Bring it in and out. You might have to go lighter here. Okay, fives are feeling okay this round, we'll see. Last one here, switch your curtsy. again. This time we're going to have a pinwheel curl in the center. Alternate your curtsy lunge. Shoulders back. Here we go. Drop out a curtsy. Pinwheel here. Left and right. Curtsy here. If the curtsy is not great for your knee, just hit a reverse lunge. That's fine. See bicep serve. Elbows in, palms are up. Drop it low and extend same side right here. Good. One more here and switch your leg. really jacking my heart right up. I'm surprised, no cardio, and we are up there. Take it low, pinwheel here, core engaged, and core faces the front when you hit that curl, please. Up, and up. Take your time on the curl. I don't know why I'm like really sweating. <laughs> it feels like it shouldn't be that hard, but we're feeling it today, folks. Take it low here. Good. I'm gonna bring that to a high knee just for fun. Practice my balance a bit. You can still tap if you'd like. One more here, and switch. Last. 
curtsy pinwheel. Shoulders back. I'm gonna take my 15s and 5s down to the ground for my last circuit. Take a look at these exercises. Into that V sit layout. Everything's gonna lay out. You could do this without weights, of course, or you could single leg lay out here as well. Everything is out and in. Reach those legs nice and low to the ground. Palms face the ceiling here. And now for my strength, I'm gonna do a plank dumbbell pass, hand and toe plank position. So my 15 pounds going there. I'm gonna reach under and pass it to the other side of my mat, alternating sides. Mod from the knees, if you need. Of course, the further you pass the dumbbell, the more activation in those obliques and your rear delt have to work. Challenge yourself. Out again. Holding those fives. Lay everything low. Open here and in. your plank. Work on the core. I tell ya, 
This super set is like, mm, fire. Fire, fire. Last one, everyone. You're doing fabulous. This was a great workout. I really enjoyed it. Let's work, lay it out. And under. smash the like button, join your stretch if you can. Let's bring it down to the ground. We're gonna go right on your back today. One foot on the floor, one foot toward the ceiling. Knee is soft and grab your shin, draw it towards you. Oh. Lengthening through that muscle there. Oh. Feels good. I actually just listened to Dr. Andrew Huberman's podcast on stretching and flexibility. It's worth the listen and you will be super motivated to add switch legs, a stretching protocol to your life because of all the immense benefits that stretching can give us, right? Least of which is that malleability, flexibility, stability, and mobility in our ligaments and joints so that as we age, they are available to us in case we slip or fall or anything of that sort. It's so important. That adage, feet together, knees open, that if you don't use it, you lose it, is just so true and never more true in the realm of flexibility, <laughs> right? I feel like I'm pretty lucky. Even my father can still touch his toes. Uh, he's almost 85. He can sit down cross-legged on the ground and stand up. Let's hug the knees in here, little circles on the back. That's actually uh, one of my members, Jody, just shared this recently in Dr. David Sinclair's book on aging. He talks about, let's go into the glute stretch. He talks about a, I can't remember what it's called exactly, but it's a sit-stand test. Can you sit on the ground cross-legged and then stand up without using your hands or putting a knee down first? I can still do it um, if I crisscross my legs and stand up that way. You definitely have to have hip flexibility, you have to have knee flexibility and health. Like there's a lot, ankle flexibility, switch sides. And if you can't do those things, you're not gonna like, if you don't do anything to reverse that or offset that, you're not gonna be able to 10 years from now, that's for sure. So to start a protocol of stretching and flexibility is going to actually help increase the length of your uh, muscles, Right, the flexibility in your tendons and the movability and mobility in your joints. So I think it's all very important. Feet on the ground, arms up to the side. Let's let those legs fall. Try to keep your shoulders on the ground. I do this little bit of stretching every day, obviously, because I feel I'm a workout pretty much every day of the week. I should do something in the evening as well. 
And after listening to that podcast, I'm like, you know what? Why couldn't you just have a protocol where you just set it up? It's automatic. Every time you relax in the evening, watch your little Netflix show or whatever you're doing, have, do these four sequences. So I'm going to write that for myself and, and set that in motion because it all adds up to better flexibility and improved health in the long haul, right? So that's good. That's what we want. Let's slowly roll to our side here. Nice little quad stretch. Grab your shoelaces. Just going to push that hip forward and leaning back, lengthening in through that hip flexor, quad. I've got my toe jammed into the ground here. Yeah, so anyway, I, I was a gymnast when I was younger, up until 16, 17 years old, and competed, you know, across Canada. So I, I definitely, well, across British Columbia, I suppose, uh, I definitely had that flexibility at a young age. And then I've always sort of been active in sports as well, so I didn't really lose it. But I could tell that if I didn't continue, you know, you, you certainly would, so it's important important to do everything that you can. And holding the positions at that low intensity is actually, uh, according to some animal studies, was more beneficial than holding them for shorter periods at a medium to high intensity. So if your pain threshold was at 100%, a study showed that you should hold till it was about 30 to 40% pain which means very low intensity. You shouldn't really feel pain. You should feel like a lengthening in the muscle, like right there. I'm like, okay, that feels good. But any deeper, it might be moderate to high intensity, like 80% of my pain threshold. And studies showed that after a six week protocol of stretching for low intensity, up to 30 to 40%, uh, they saw greater flexibility. Uh, that was in mice. <laughs> so, uh, and you're wondering, can you stretch a mouse? Apparently you can. <laughs> I didn't know. I just was reading these studies, so. Interesting. So you don't have to make it feel painful. You just have to make it feel like you are lengthening the muscle. It feels good. But the key is to then hold it for a little bit longer too. Could you hold it there at a low intensity for a minute? For the sake of time here, I don't do it as long. I go that 15, maybe you know, 10 to 15 seconds. So it should be a bit longer, technically speaking. All right, now aren't all of you in your head thinking like, how do they stretch a mouse out? <laughs> I've got a little picture in my brain of like, okay, hamstring stretch, little guy. <laughs> all right, thanks for moving daily with me. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition. See you in the next workout. Hey, you can check out our programs right there if you want something structured to follow along with. And maybe there's a workout for tomorrow. See ya. Thank you.